the bookworms. Today I am going to see Stephanie Perkins and David Levithan at McNally Jackson, so I am like really, really excited about doing that and about getting my book signed because as you know, I love Stephanie Perkins like so much. Um, but right now I'm just walking to work and listening to one of my favorite Star Wars podcasts. Um, it's under the Coffee with Kenobi umbrella, but it's actually called Lattes with Leia. It's a monthly show that's done by my friend Amy um, Andrea, and it is really good, and it's really insightful, and I really like having um, two females discuss Star Wars. So yeah, that's probably one of my favorite podcasts. Um, but yeah, that's really what's going on right now, and I am just so excited. I cannot wait to get Stephanie to sign Anna and the French Kiss and Isla and the Happily Ever After, and of course Lola and the Boy Next Door, but mostly Anna and Isla. Hi! So, just getting to McNally Jackson for the Stephanie Perkins event. Pretty excited. McNally is one of the bookstores that has one of like a really cool element to it. When you walk in by the cafe section, they have all of these books that are hanging from the ceiling and it's just so like aesthetically pleasing. So I'll definitely film that as soon as I get in there so that you can see it. A little bit early, which is good because I'm expecting that it'll be a little bit busy. Um, I'm using my hazelwood tote. Like I said, I wrote a couple of vlogs ago. I'm gonna go buy the book and grab a seat. So, this is a departure for you. Um, so I, I would love to just hear at first sort of what, what made you want to careen in this direction. Yeah, as so this is the question that I'm getting the most um, for pretty obvious reason. I always I feel like this tour too is the like explain yourself tour. <laughs> Why? Um, I, I think you know for, for people who you know only casually know me, it was a surprise that I was doing this. But to you know my family and close friends, when the announcement was made, it was like, well. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's always been this really dark side of me, and and it is this odd thing that when you come out as an author with this with this very like sweet, lovely book, and my, my first three novels, Anne and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After, are very very sweet novels, and and I do feel like you know that's that's obviously the thing that I love, and and that's me. But, but I live on like both sides of that spectrum at all times. And so it was really important to me early on in my career to get to show that there was more than just the one thing because I knew that I would never be that, that one type of author. And there are many other genres that I'm really interested in. I also love fantasy and fairy tale retellings and you know, I want to write for adults and graphic novels and I'm interested in everything. Um, so it was important to, to take this other step. How are you? Hi! I am finally home, which I'm really excited about because I'm very tired. But I had so much fun at the event tonight. I met this lovely girl named Laura and we just like talked about books the whole time before everything actually started and Robin Wasserman also ended up being there which I didn't know that was gonna happen so that was really cool. Now I'm home and I'm comfortable and I'm in my favorite Caves Water t-shirt that I got on Society6. I thought that I would just show you guys the books that I got signed and First, I shall change my camera battery. Okay, much better. First of all, when I went up to the table, well, actually, first of all, I want to read a lot of Robin Wasserman books now because just after hearing their conversations about it, I was just like, oh my gosh, like they sound really scary and I'm all about that. So I think I'm gonna pick a couple of her books up like probably in October because that's like a good time to read horror. Oh, there were really cute cupcakes, which I took a clip of so you will see those. I think I was maybe like the fourth or fifth person that was able to get my book signed. It was so nice because as soon as I went up to uh, the table and handed Stephanie my books, she was like, I know you, we've met before. And I was like, Oh my god, how do you remember me? That's amazing. I had went to the Penguin Teen uh, breakfast during BEA and Stephanie was there and she sat at my table for a while while we were eating and she was just telling us about her new book. So that's what she remembered me from, which was like just so nice. But anyway, these are the books that I got signed. 
I got her newest one, of course, that we were celebrating the launch for, which is There's Someone Inside Your House. It says, Kristen, lock your doors, so that's very ominous. Then I got Anna and the French Kiss. And that one says, Kristen, never stop wishing on stars. Then I got Lola and the boy next door. And it says, Kristen, always, always, always be yourself. And lastly, I got Isla and the happily ever after. And this one says, Kristen, may you always find your way. Um, or may you always find the right way. Sorry about that. And so her signature in this one's actually a different color because I bought this book from Books of Wonder and it was already signed, but now, I got it personalized, which I was really excited about because Isla is probably my favorite book of hers. Um, so I'm like really excited to have this in my collection now. I'm really glad that I was able to get everything that I wanted signed. I was about to like divide up books and give half of them to Andrew to get signed for me just in case I wasn't allowed to get all four. And then also while I was getting my book signed, two people came over and interrupted and those two people happened to be Libba Bray and Gail Foreman, so that was also really cool. Um, Stephanie was like, I'm so sorry, and I was like, please talk to your amazing author friends, like, <laughs> that's totally fine. And then I also told her how it was really funny after I got back from the breakfast and I was trying to explain her new book to Andrew, the way that he interpreted it, he was like, because I was saying the characters were similar to Anna and the French Kiss, and he was like, wait, she just rewrote Anna and the French Kiss but killed everyone and I was like no but that would be amazing and I told her and she was like oh my god I want to write that and she was like I might have to just write that for myself but yeah I think that's everything we were actually gonna go and get some ice cream afterward but it got really late the event started a bit later than we were anticipating and we both have to work tomorrow so home we are god damn it that was I that was lucky. <laughs> Hi. Now we're at my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's apartment, and we had a lot of food, which was really good. And they made me watch the first, like, well, actually, a good portion. <laughs> They're playing video games. Fuck you! That's getting cut. <laughs> Video games are very intense in this household. They made me watch the beginning of Up and I just cried so much because it was so sad. But now we're playing video games and I'm gonna take a little clip and show you people. You know Andrew. That's Joe. Joe made all the music for my channel, which is very cool. And that is his beautiful wife, Kristen, who has the same name as me. I do. Spelled the same way. Yes. That's Molly. She's involved in Mario Party and Brittany. Yes. Um, and Zoraida Cordova. Yep. We went earlier and we had alcoholic ice cream and then we went to my favorite Christmas place because they already had their decorations up and we had a warm glass of new wine and it was delicious. Even more alcohol. Yeah. I'm bending down so much because Cassie's like five feet tall. Because I'm so tall. No, I'm six feet tall. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I think we're just going to go get our books and get them signed. I'm Zoraida Cordova, I'm the author of Glamour and Gloss, it's about witches and magic, um, and this is Ryan Grodden, and she is the critically acclaimed author of The Wall City, Wolf by Wolf, and Blood for Blood, and most recently, Invictus. So tell us about Invictus, and what we should expect when you're going in. So, as Zoraida just said, my most recent series was Wolf by Wolf and Blood for Blood, and that is set to an alternate history universe in 1956 where the Axis powers won World War II. And so, of course, as you can imagine, it was a very grim mental landscape to spend 
the better part of three years in con continually, and so I was pretty emotionally exhausted by the time I finished writing this book. Um, and so when it was time to work on something new, uh, I, I was like, I just want to write something where I can have fun. Um, so, yeah, like, where I can just... more turn out fun? No, 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 no. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I, uh, I had, I had this idea of, uh, writing a novel, uh, featuring time traveling thieves, um, for a while, probably actually since 2012, um, and so when I finished Blood for Blood, it was the next thing in the queue, and I was like, okay, we're gonna do this, and I call, I tell people, like, long story short, this book is my, uh, fandom, fangirl ode to Doctor Who and Firefly. Um, I love both of those shows so, so much. And um, the thing I love about Doctor Who is just how wide the time traveling universe is. Like the, the Doctor can just leap into the TARDIS and go to any single time he wants. And I felt like a lot of time travel stories deal with much smaller increments of time, like weeks or you know days or months. And I wanted to write a time travel adventure that really, where the, the characters could go back in anywhere in history um, and s explore all of these different eras. Um, and then with Firefly, the thing I loved about that was the fact that the crew, um, by the time, it's only like 14 episodes long, and, but by the time you finish watching that, you feel like the crew is a part of your family, like you know them, each, each, each one of them so well. And so those were the two elements of the shows that I really wanted to, to marry in Invictus, and so it's about a crew of time traveling thieves who goes back to all of these different points in history, and they steal uh, objects uh, from history that won't be missed. So they pull heists on the Titanic, in the Library of Alexandria, um, all small scale stuff. Yeah, small scale stuff. Not much research went into this book at all. I am just getting ready to go to New York Comic Con. I realized that I forgot to wrap up my last vlog, so. This is what I'm doing now. Um, I'm really excited. Alexa and I have so much on our schedules today for Comic-Con and I just can't wait to get there and like start walking the floor and start seeing authors and like all the things. Um, I'm actually wearing a shirt that I got from New York Comic-Con last year from Babs Tar. I'm not actually wearing this to Comic-Con today. I just wore it as pajamas so it's still on. I have to really hurry up because I have to make a train and I don't have too much time left so I'm not positive if I am going to post my book hauls tomorrow or if I'm gonna swap it out and maybe post this bookish vlog and then post my book hauls, you heard that correctly, book hauls next week um, just because I don't know if I'm gonna have the time to <laughs> to edit and I don't want Andrew to have to edit so we'll see. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this bookish vlog, and I will see you guys soon. The next vlog that you'll get will be a New York Comic Con vlog, so that'll be fun. Bye!